Battlefield 4 features all new weapon and vehicle customization. Lead core gameplay designer Alan Kurtz shows what's new. So let's talk about the primary weapon to begin with. How would you customize that for different uh, for different tactics in the field? So I've got my assault weapon here. This is my Chinese assault weapon. I want to get in close. I'm going to put a, a red dot sight, it's a coyote sight. This is the uh, the Chinese sight. One of our new things is uh, canted iron sights. This is going to let me switch between two sets of sights. You don't have to respawn, which is an extra bonus. Yeah. So I'm going in close. I want to be a little bit more stealthy. I want to get the drop on people. Let's throw our Chinese suppressor up on there, and then. We've really taken the, the grips and we've, we've totally revamped these. So I'm going to put an ergonomic grip on and that's going to let me really move and shoot. So I don't have to worry about top, stopping to take that accurate shot. I can get it on the move and keep going. Um, and of course, you know, nothing's complete without a really good paint job on it. <laughs> Absolutely. So if I'm getting in close, probably want to blend in a little bit. Every time I unlock one of these paints, I unlock it for every gun, for every vehicle. You've got a 3D render of the gun here as well that you can actually look around with. Yeah, we can actually spin it around so you can get a, a better view of where what the gun looks like and you know just exactly how each customization is going to affect it. So looking at these meters here, you can actually see how the customizations are affecting your gun. Right, so we've, uh, we've shown these meters to people so that uh, they can both compare gun for gun, but they can also say, oh, okay, you know, I'm really interested in running gun, I need a good hip fire. Oh, this vertical grip really helps that. I'm not gonna be quite as good at handling recoil, but man, my hip fire goes way up. So can you customize secondary weapons in this amount of detail as well? So I'm gonna pull up my favorite pistol. This is the 1911, this is a classic. It's been in just about every Battlefield game. We can go in and you know, maybe I don't like the default iron sights very much, and every other game you're kind of stuck with them, right? Yeah. Well, let's throw a little red dot scope on there. And now I've got a red dot scope that I can use. It's gonna give me that clear sight picture, that really nice fine point. I'm gonna throw on uh, a tri-beam laser sight. I get that kind of predator feel. It gives me that advantage on the mobility. Really good stuff. Can you also tell us about the, the vehicles in here as well? Because uh, they're more customizable than, than ever, aren't they? If we just take our, our new fast attack boats, we start off with a 25 millimeter cannon, but we can put a burst cannon on it. We do have different secondaries. I can get you know this player-guided tow missile. I can get a laser-guided. I can get anti-air missiles. And you know I'm making a choice. Am I going more vehicle, more anti-vehicle, more anti-infantry? But I'm still staying in that kind of niche of where it is. And just like any other object in the game, you can paint your vehicles. This is a camouflage adaptive. On this level, this is Parasol Storm. You saw it at Gamescom. Yeah. This is gonna pick up the blues from the level. You take it into Siege of Shanghai, it's gonna pick up grays from the level. So every time I load a new level, every time I go into a new environment, Adaptive Camo picks up those colors, keeps your pattern, and repaints your vehicle for you the way it is to it blends into the environment. Now tell me about um, this, uh, this, this reloading as well. That has changed in the game, hasn't it? So what we have is what we call tier reloading. Every other shooter you play, you empty the clip. So you fire off all the rounds, and uh, then you know, you're in the middle of a fight. I don't have time for that. I gotta switch to my pistol. Yeah. Okay. Now I go back and I already took the magazine out, but hey, look, I don't have to put the magazine in again. I already had it out, so all I have to do is put it in and go. So this is our tier reloading system. It works on you know, all of our rocket launchers. That RPG is already gone. You don't have to pull it out again. You switch weapons, he puts in the new RPG, you're back and running. <laughs> <laughs> 